Mangoes are a tropical fruit with a beautiful color and this sweet and tart flavor, and they're in season at your Price Chopper right now. Today I want to share with you a simple five ingredient mango salsa, and also show you how to navigate one of these mangoes and cut around the tricky seed that's inside of them. The mangoes are our main ingredient for our mango salsa, and there's a couple different varieties you can choose from from your Price Chopper. This is the Altufa mango. This is a regular green mango. I'm going to be focusing on these, they're my favorite. And I know that they're ripe, not by the color, but by the touch. And if they give a little bit, like a ripe peach wood or an avocado, you know it's a keeper. Um, our other ingredients, we have some avocados, green Haas avocados. We have our chopped jalapeno, fresh cilantro, uh, fresh lime juice. And that's it, and a little salt and pepper to finish. So now it's time to cut our Altufa mangoes, and every mango has a little eye, and that's what you're going to want to identify. Um, I stand it up on its end like so, and I take a sharp knife, and I go over just about a quarter of an inch, and I'm just going to slice down. The seed runs vertically like that, and when I cut those off, I call these the mango cheeks. So we're going to have two cheeks of our mango. Just like so. And so the next thing that you'll do, because I want my mango diced, I'm going to cut some vertical lines. I'm not cutting through the skin in the back, but just enough to create these lines, kind of scoring it. And then this is my favorite part, because you're going to flip your mango inside out, and it's so pretty, and it's so ready to go. So again, I'm taking my knife and I'm cutting it away from me like this. And I'm just going to cut off our diced mango pieces and have them join their friends in the other bowl. Wonderful. So then you have this little guy left over, and sometimes you can get a little more flesh off of it by cutting them off the sides here. And then I always save these to enjoy them in private because they're so good to eat on your own. Like so. I have diced all my mangoes, so now it's time to move on to our avocados. And I wait till the last um, moment to add these avocados because the moment that, the, that you open up the avocado and it hits the air and the oxygen, they can sometimes start to turn brown. So we're just going to cut our avocado open. And twist open. There you go. Okay, so now it's time to put all our ingredients together. I'm going to transfer my mango into a bigger bowl. Like so. Whoops, one got away. I'll be okay. Put this down there. And I will then kind of score my avocado the same way I did the mango. I like to do it while it's still in its little outer shell. Just less mess for me, really. And scoop it out with a spoon. Wonderful. Just do that for two mango or for two avocados. Every last little bit. Perfect. All right, I have a chopped jalapeno. I remove the seeds and the stem. If you like it really spicy, leave them in there. Um, the fresh jalapeno is spicy enough for me. All right, after I've added the jalapenos, I'm just going to add my diced cilantro, chopped cilantro, and like so. So after the cilantro, we're going to add the juice of two limes. Um, the limes kind of act as that binder to pull all the ingredients together, and they also help to keep the avocado from turning brown. So I like to give my limes a little bit of a roll, it kind of gets the juice going in there, and then cut them down half-wise, and use your some of your muscle and just squeeze away. And the last thing that we will do before our mango salsa is ready to enjoy is just salt and pepper. Add some fresh pepper to it, and some salt. Give it a nice toss. It's so pretty with the mango and the green avocado, and that fresh cilantro and jalapeno. This is going to be a hit, however you're serving it. It goes great with chicken, as a dip, on top of some fish. I can eat it plain. And there you have it, a five ingredient, easy and fast mango salsa. Enjoy. For the full recipe, you can check it out at myfryshopper.com.